Hello everyone, Sonny here and welcome back to another live stream here on Twitch. How are you guys doing tonight? Welcome, welcome. We got so many pigos being spammed in the chat. What is this? That never happens. Anybody, anyway, welcome everyone. We got Leroy Jenkins being the very first person here. Tigrissa of Gorana, Jam on some toast, Dom Dad, Famous Justino, Iwin, and I prefer V Pigo, 151, Hanny Burger. Burning Paper Giant, Ash, a Flaming, Exciting Mage, uh, Ash, resubscribing for two months. Thank you so much. Hope you're doing good. We got Mr. Kringle and Renduso, Bruno. Hey, Bruno, how's it? Uh, Anti, we got Diesel, Diagonal, Longhorn, uh, Unicorn, Dusty, and a Stressed Obsidian, so many others. Dark Queen, how you doing? Is that about everyone? Team Awesome, hello. And Pro Dragon, hello as well. Okay, Nox, Rain, Rambler. <laughs> it's it's starting to take a long time to read off everyone's names nowadays, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, welcome. Hi. It's Austin. <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, we are going to be working on something a little bit different tonight than we normally do. We're going to be working on the ultimate redstone world. This is something that I've been wanting to do for quite a while now. If you've been a fan of the streams for a while, then you might know that like I've been wanting to really do this for a long time. And if you saw the recent video on YouTube, then you also might know what we are possibly doing. We are going to be doing things that are proper and official. This is this is not how I wanted to start the stream. I wanted to start the stream falling for 30 minutes. There we go. Now we can properly fall for 30 minutes. So we'll come back in 35 minutes and then we'll be on the ground and it'll be great. <laughs> anyway, we are going to be putting every single build that I've ever designed, built, or tested into one world. And then we're going to be doing some other things as well. We're going to be doing uh, different districts and different builds and different things. Honestly, it should be the ultimate redstone world. I'm really excited for it, actually. So that's just a temporary world that I made for Bog Rock. We don't actually need that anymore. Goodbye, world. We're going to start off the stream by actually making a copy of the world and making a backup because we're going to be messing with a lot of world edit tonight. So this one is 4, uh, 13, and 21. I can't put a 1 right there. No. I got to go remove a character. Always make backups. Always make backups. You can never have enough backups in your life. Amulet is super powerful. Also, yes, I saw the word ban. I gotta catch my breath from reading all the chat. <laughs> That's something that happens. Like, you, you talk so much, and then you just got so many things to say that it's like, do I have enough breath in my body for this? I, I Usually, no. Usually, that's the answer. Also, spoilers for the next thing. That That's all the spoilers that you're gonna get. Someone's gonna clip it. It'll be great. So this is the existing redstone testing world. I need to up the render distance. I had to lower down the render distance because of lag reasons. That never happens. Usually I can crank 60 chunks and be fine, but recently I had to go down to 20 chunks? Ugh. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. So as a recap of what we've done so far, we basically tested out Amulet, which is a lovely 3D world editor tool, and we uh, pasted in this spawning uh, the simulation distances, which are over here. That's what this whole big square is. This is chunk aligned. This has got some of these simulation distances for 12, 10, and 4 chunks. It's missing the 6 and 10. No, wait, 12. That's 12, 8, and 4. It's missing a couple because of, you know, quirkiness. Amulet also added a prune tool so we can reset chunks for 117. Oh, did it finally update? Nice. I was curious about that actually because when I tried it the other day when I was making that video, it just crashed every time I hit the prune button. So it couldn't really, it couldn't really do it. I'm not sure if the obsidian farm is still working. That's kind of the purpose of this world actually, is to get everything I've ever built into one place so that we can test it all the time and make sure that it's all fully updated. And that's really, that's really what we're trying to do here. Trying to keep, sh trying to make sure that all of my back catalog of tutorials is all fully up to date at all times. Because I've had so many redstone testing worlds over the years that a lot of stuff has either been lost or corrupted or it's just in a different version of the world that got corrupted. Uh, so we're trying to just get everything into this one area. 
keep everything tip top shape absolutely so tonight I feel like we're gonna be building uh, some tutorials that I've actually released so I want to get every single tutorial that I've ever released into this world and this is something that you guys can help with as well because I have like hundred and eighty tutorials now and making sure that all of those are updated is kind of an issue uh, we're gonna go ahead and clear out some more area right here this is the area that I cleared out to build uh, my things in but this is not going to be enough area so we're going to clear out some more room just as we're casually talking and starting the stream today because that's always a fun thing to do how have you been today what have you been doing anything fun I hope so <laughs> prune stays better than their reputation oof <laughs> I I don't think I'm a fan of prunes. I don't think I'm a fan of prunes. Are they good? I don't know. I don't remember the last time I had a prune. To be fair. So I'm not entirely sure. I want to up the simulation distance to 12. That way the command blocks stay in render distance. Or in simulation distance longer. How am I sound like? I'm doing pretty well. Thank you for asking been getting a lot of stuff done recently not so much like important things that I need to do for the channel but uh just housework and other life things installed a water heater installed a dryer a dishwasher redoing the laundry room and doing a lot of renovations it's great prunes keep you regular I don't know what that means you're confusing me I don't know what that means what are the command blocks commanding? Uh, fill commands, actually. So there's uh, three commands, actually. One is putting grass at this layer, as you can see, and another one is putting stone underneath that, down like six layers. Whoop. And then the third one is clearing out all the blocks. Uh, basically, it's my super flat commanding commands. It's very convenient. It's very, very convenient indeed. Hey, Withercrafter, welcome back to another stream, dude. How you doing? Long time. Hopefully you're doing very well. 14 months is a long time. Jeez. Yeah, time fly. Time does fly indeed. Goes to search what a prune is. You don't know what a prune is? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I'm doing alright. Thanks for asking, Weather. We're doing some different projects today. A little bit of, uh... A little bit of creative mode today. Not something that we do a lot, but it can be very fun indeed. Super flat without making a super flat. Yeah. A lot of people were like giving me crap for not making just a new super flat world. Like that's entirely not the point. I don't want to make a new super flat world. Because like that's entirely not the point of this project. If I make a brand new world, that means that all of the things that I have in this world won't be in the new world. <laughs> Which is just compounding the problem. Like, I, I, I want to get everything into one world, and this world has the most of my stuff in it, so I'm going to, you know, use this as my main world. Also, it literally says main world in the title of the name, which you can't see, but it's UA test main. This is like my main redstone test and world dudes. So no, I'm not going to start a new super flat. Super flats break all the time as well. Like, I, I had a super flat. That's my original testing world was a super flat. It was great, but then Bedrock killed it. Three times. A lot of people call me silent because they can't type. <laughs> Honestly, I can't type either, so... Respect. Respect. Okay, we gotta clear out a little bit more of this mountain, and then we'll actually start getting to some building. Now, the way that you guys can help with this is if you have the build in your world you can go check it out see if it still works and if it doesn't work you can tell me what's wrong with it and i can check it out to see what's happening or you can just be like hey it's broke please fix in which case i'll be like okay i, I try <laughs> so this is very much going to be a community focused thing as well because i do need you guys' help to try things on different platforms on different devices and different areas of the game uh, to make sure that stuff just works everywhere. Bedrock is a big game and things can be broken in a lot of different ways that sometimes you can't experience with just one person. 
which is really weird. You got stabbed today and your arm is sore? Oh, good! Thank you for getting vaccinated. That is fantastic. Congratulations! That's really good, actually. Or, or unless you actually got, like, proper stabbed. In which case, Al, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I too, would like to get stabbed here soon. I, I would very much appreciate getting stabbed in the arm. I think that would be a great experience. And I will be sure to make a Yelp review when I happen to get stabbed next. You got stabbed last week? Oh good, man, so many stabbings happening. So many stabbings, this is fantastic. You might get stabbed over the summer. Well, good, I hope that you get stabbed sooner. <laughs> oh, this is great. Uh. Let's all go get stabbed together, shall we? Everyone deserves to get stabbed. Is Radius kill IE? Oh, whoops. Uh, boop, there we go. Just wanted to kill those items and stuff. Uh, I might turn off mob spawning as well. Game rule, do mob spawning, give fellows. Good boy. Canada's apparently too polite to give everyone stab wings. Ah, darn Canadians, they're just too nice. You gotta go to Murica to get stabbed. <laughs> Let's all go get stabbed as I'm running a kill command, right? That was perfect timing. <laughs> oh. Yeah, basically. Cool. Okay, so we are going to be starting building things in this area here. And now, points to anyone who can tell me what my very first Bedrock Edition tutorial is. Because I can't. Do I have a playlist for this? Do do do. Minecraft Bedrock Tutorials. 186 videos. Fire Arrow Machine. Nah, not the Fire Arrow Machine. That was my first video on the channel, so bonus, bonus points to you for telling me what my first video on the channel was, because I forgot it. <laughs> so yeah, 186 builds. Lots of videos. It's so many videos. Why is the gas to farm at the bottom of the tutorials playlist? Uh, move to top, you big silly. Is this going to be completely out of order now? No, okay, so... Uh, the first tutorial was actually a Minecraft simple fast super smelter tutorial. P-E-M-C-P-E Xbox. <laughs> Should we watch this video together a little bit? Hold on, I kind of want to. Let me pull this up. It's got 61,000 views, which honestly is not too bad. I'm going to pause this. Is the video going to load? Long as oh, you no. Oh no, oh no, okay. This is going to be so cringy. This is going to be great. Okay, let me turn on the display capture. <laughs> I didn't even leave a like on my own video. I had to use that skin because this was Bedrock Beta? Or no, this wasn't beta anymore. It doesn't show the top of the video. Let's see what let's see what it sounds like. Just mute the video. I do! I mute all of my videos as soon as I as soon as I play them. I try to pause them as quick as I can. <laughs> Hello everyone, Zani here. Welcome to the first of many Minecraft. No, that's enough of that. Okay, cool. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, what's the top comment on this? Water sheep. Oh, well, water sheep approves. <laughs> oh, jeez. So, yeah, we're going to be trying to uh, build this in the world. This is going to go right here in this area. Now, I think it would be cool to mark out things uh, with some blocks. I need to turn the music back on. Get the music in the bones. Stained glass. So I think it'd be cool to mark out the size of the builds using stained glass. So if it's like a 10 by five build, we'll mark out a 10 by five area. And then we'll put the build on top of that. And then we'll put a couple signs telling what version it was built in. As far as we can tell, uh, an estimated version, we'll put what tutorial number it is. And then we'll put known issues with that as well. So with this tutorial, it's a very simple thing. Uh, we are going to have to build this mostly from scratch, but luckily I am a professional Minecrafter, so I can do that. <laughs> that performance voice. Yeah, I, I my voice, everyone's just like, yeah, the voice, da da da. 
I know, I sounded terrible. What do you expect? You should watch my first video though. That's way, way worse. Way, way worse. Way, way worse. I had a terrible mic back then. Keep that in mind. I had a terrible mic. Uh, my first mic on the channel was a just a default Xbox headset, like that two cent headset that you get when you uh, buy like a new Xbox console. That's what I had. You know, that super flimsy thing. Like it literally got flicked one time and it just completely broke. Like that's how bad it was. It just got like flicked. Boop. Yeeted across the table and just broke. Just, yep, it was dead. So I had to go back and buy a new mic and I couldn't make videos because people are rude. Flicking my headset. <laughs> it only had one like speaker on it for the, uh, for the headset. It was great. Now I'm going to build everything exactly as I show it in the videos. I'm not going to make any improvements to it because that's not what I'm here for. Uh, so we need like a chest. This is also going to be basically a tutorial on how to build everything I've ever built. This headset's are horrible. Yes, you know this, don't you? Actually, hold on. Do I need to build this? Because that was in the redstone testing world. I might not actually need to build this. Hold on. Redstone testing world old. This might be the proper one. Yeah, I, I think they were even cheaper than $20, crafter. I think they were even cheaper than that. They were ridiculously stupid. Uh, is that it right there? Hey, that's it right there. It's right next to these chunks that don't load. So this is actually where we are going to switch over to Amulet. So this is the first ever Bedrock Edition tutorial that I did. As far as I'm aware, this actually does still work, except for an issue with the Hopper minecarts having the incorrect hitbox so they can grab items where they wouldn't, shouldn't normally be able to. So let me back out of this world for a second and we're going to open up Amulet. Now, Amulet is a very, very powerful uh, thing that is rather new, I believe. I'm not sure how long it's been out, but I do know that it's great. It's a 3D world editor, so it's kind of like MC Edit for Java Edition, except that it works for Java and Bedrock. Okay, here we go. Uh, give me a second. I'm trying to organize tabs. Oops, here we go. Uh, this, can I make you guys see what I'm seeing? There we go. Okay, so this is inside of Amulet. Uh, this allows you to open up Java Worlds. It was all my Java Worlds. I got Silent Survival over there, actually. Uh, we got Bedrock Edition over here. So we're gonna open up the Redstone Testing World. Uh, that should open up, right? Yes, here it is. And then we're going to open up the 3D editor part of this. Why don't we all just convert to Java? Because Java's expensive. $9.99 at GameStop. <laughs> uh, can we just talk about headsets for a minute? Like, headsets are trash. There's like four different spots that headsets always break. Do you guys remember like the Xbox 360 headsets? Uh, and the Xbox One headsets that, where they plug into the base of the controller, the wire right there would always fray and snap and break. And it was just the worst thing in the world. And like, you always had to like, hold it in such a way that like, you could still hear people and talk to people. And it would, uh, not be all staticky. <laughs> it was the worst thing in the world. Worst thing in the world. I'm so glad that we're mostly past that by now. Anyway, this is inside of Amulet. As you can see, this is a 3D world editor, so I can look around, I can move up and down, I can select areas, and a lot of this stuff right here is like the very earliest content on the channel. Uh, a lot of this is just early tutorials. There's some old mumbo jumbo builds. Here's the under over door, uh, the spiral three by three, the lava door. I just basically built those things for Figuring out how to do some basic redstone. This is the first ever tutorial on the channel uh, Here is a console version of Mumbo's Sugarcane Farm. I watch a lot of Mumbo. He's basically the reason why I started the channel <laughs> We got the 100k special and then we got the 1000 special in the back here. Good times. Oh Yeah, the dragon eggs breaking bedrock that actually worked on on the console edition. It was good stuff Anyway, we're not over here for that we are in this world. That looks really funky. 
Funky. We're in this world to grab the super smelter. Which is over here in this area. It's right here. Okay. So this is super easy. So as you can see, I kind of have like a little block that I am highlighting. Oh, and you can actually see my mouse. Beautiful. Uh, so we're going to pick that block right there and then move that vertical. Swing around to the side and then extend that to the side. Boop. And then just bring this along like this. It's super easy. Just basically a drag and drop kind of situation. We need to bring that one more block out. Whoops. Uh, there's actually a back button as well in case you mess up your selections. You can kind of undo everything. It's a little bit funky with the controls. It kind of snaps in different directions sometimes, but it's fine. As you can see, you can actually go underground. If there were any caves in, those, in this world, it would actually render the caves, which is really amazing. So we're gonna grab this build right here. And then we're just gonna go ahead and hit copy. That'll copy that stuff. Now we're gonna go back to the main menu, hit open world, and select the main UA test world. Now this allows you to open up multiple worlds at a time, which is fantastic. Uh, 1400 by about 200 is where I need to go. And then I gotta fly this way. This is Mumbo Jumbo's Redstone Test World. No, it's mine. I just built a couple things from Mumbo in it. I'm going the wrong direction. Yeah, see, look, you can actually see all the caves and stuff. It's literally spectator mode for Bedrock Edition, but, you know, and World Edit. It's really amazing. I love this program so much. I'm so glad Groova mentioned it to me. He was kind of just like offhand, like, oh yeah, this amulet. He didn't say anything else about it, so I went and found it, downloaded it. I'm like, oh my God, this is the best thing in the world. Yes. Okay, so my area should be over here, right? Yeah, so this is where we are going to paste in our build. As you can see, I already started placing down the blocks. I might have to rotate this a little bit, but that's fine. Why is north negative Z? Because that's just how coordinates work in Minecraft, basically. So if we select the paste function over here on the left side, you can see that this is going to give us this little, uh, you know, rectangle with the build in it. And we can place that and then we can change the Y value of it. So we are going to raise that up by two blocks. Uh, we're going to raise that up another couple blocks, actually. That's a little bit too high now. <laughs> I watch Mumbo. Yeah, everybody watches Mumbo. I used to watch a lot more of him back in the day uh, when I was first getting into the Minecraft, but not as much nowadays. I don't know when the last time I watched a Mumbo video was. We're gonna take away a couple of blocks from this X coordinate on the side, and that is going to move the build slightly to the right, as you can see there. And there we go, that is now the first ever build into the world. We might wanna move it slightly towards the ice away, I suppose. So that is gonna be plus Z. Uh, let's just add like three blocks to that. Oh, sorry, no, we gotta take away blocks from that? Yeah, because, you know, negatives. Negatives are complicated. There we go. So that's about where this is going to go. We are going to copy air, water, lava, all that good stuff. Uh, I think we could actually rotate it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> we can rotate it on its side? Huh. Can I flip it? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> I can flip it. I'm really curious what that's going to look like in game. <laughs> I did not expect that. Can I? I'm gonna paste this upside down like that uh, somewhere else. This is. Oh my god. Okay, this is great. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna leave it like that actually. <laughs> yeah. So I want it kind of like this. <laughs> I did not expect that. It's like that's that's very strange. I love that. Sideways furnaces. That's some great thumbnail material right there. If only this was higher resolution textures, it'd be great. Okay, we're gonna make this minus X. 
Uh, so we gotta go take away some. So make that like 15. Let's make that like 12. Okay. Yeah, that's basically exactly where I want it. Uh, maybe... Maybe a little bit to the side. Yeah, just like that. Okay, cool. Let's paste in that dude. So all you gotta hit is confirm and then bam, that thing is now in the world. Uh, the stairs look like they're kind of backwards, but that is fine. That's all stuff that we can adjust later. I still want to hit that paste button again. Uh, so we're gonna go back over to the redstone testing world. We're gonna hit copy on that again. Go back over to here and then hit the paste button again. Whoops, paste. I want to raise this up by like a bunch of blocks and then we're going to flip it. <laughs> I'm really curious how this turns out in the world. So now we got this one on the side, just for science. Bam. There's that. Okay. Now we need to hit the save button on this and save that a couple of times. And then we're going to close the world. Closing it is very important. You want to see Minecraft's running sideways? Dude, that'd be awesome, actually. There's no reason why that shouldn't happen either, uh, as long as the minecarts are, like, attached to the rails. Now, you can see the program kind of freezes up a little bit when you, uh, do the, do the thing. Hope it stays like that and doesn't break the whole world. That's why we made a copy of the world. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's hop back over to Minecraft, and we're gonna hop into the world and see what's up with it. Also, also, Panda Pigo, thank you so much for nine months, three quarters of a year. That is insane. Thank you, thank you. Okay, that's kind of what I expected. <laughs> that's really silly. All the rails are on the ground. Oh, that that's kind of floaty. It's fine. Yeah, this is kind of what I expected. <laughs> that's so silly. I love that. Yeah. That's about what I expected, honestly. <laughs> oh, the redstone's floaty, too. I wonder what happens if I power that. Oh, yeah, it breaks off. Okay. Cool. Item frames survived. Yeah. Okay. That's really cool, actually. That's really cool. So we're going to get rid of all that. Boop. And I guess we can go ahead and run that kill command that we got as well. Uh, we'll make that a radius 30, though. Fancy. Now, you can see some of the things are kind of broke. I'm assuming that's because we did a rotate on it. So we will have to slightly fix this. And that is fine by me. So let's rip out all these lower rails. As you can see, this thing is very basic, so... Not too worried about fixing slight bits of it. Uh, but now we have a little bit more experience using this. And we can use it slightly better in the future. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, right. Do I need to lower that down by block? I do. That way that doesn't happen. Annoyingness. Okay, there we go. That also needs a powered rail right there. Stair machine is broken. <laughs> Amulet even, even copies the experience. Oh yeah, it did actually. Good eye. Good eye. I did not notice that. I saw the experience, but I wasn't like, oh yeah, that's from the furnaces being copied over. That's very good actually. That's very good. Uh, I'm not sure how this worked. Is that... That's actually facing the wrong direction. That's fine. Yeah, this is facing the wrong direction as well. And that's facing the wrong direction. So, overall, just some minor updates to the whole build. In order to get things to function again. But the amount of time that we save using this program is going to be immense. So hopefully after watching today's live stream, you guys will be able to use this program yourselves uh, with some success and you'll be able to do some of these things in your worlds as well. 
Uh, that's kind of the idea behind this, you know? You get to learn about how to do this kind of stuff. Uh, I will share with you guys a link to Amulet real quick. That way you can also download it as well. Because it's very powerful and I would highly recommend it. It's overall just pretty amazing. Oh, all these hoppers are backwards. Damn it. What is this? This is my redstone testing worm. Uh, catnip or catman shrimp. Thank you so much for six months. That's a very long time. Thank you so much. That's half a year. And you got yourself a new badge with that as well. Very nice. What if you don't have a PC laptop? Well, then you're just out of luck. Uh, also, thank you to Monkey and Blood Elf, T-Bone, uh, DJ, Leather Jacket Guy, Rim, The Tiger Man, Nathan, Gaming Rooster, Gaming Rooster. We got Jadson, AKH, Unicorn, Uncle, and a couple others. Thank you so much for the follows and welcome to the silence, everyone. You're late, you're late for a very important date. Oh, that reminds me, we need to read some uh, One Pigo, Two Pigo. One Pigo, Two Pigo, Red Pigo, Blue Pigo. There's the entire poem in the Discord server. Uh, let's see, a hopper. Let's do like three, maybe? Four? Five? Five. Okay, so hopper five. And we're just gonna completely get away with undoing all this. <laughs> this is peak laziness right here, where it takes more effort to be lazy than it does to not be lazy. Hopper five. There we go. Now they're all facing the correct direction. Are all these ones facing the correct direction? They're not, but you know what? I'm not gonna be lazy. I'm gonna be incredibly, incredibly handsome. I mean, proactive and just go ahead and uh, replace those. So all, all these are facing the wrong direction. Uh, we gotta put a furnace back for that one. Boop, oh, the furnaces are facing the wrong way. <laughs> I guess basically everything is just orientated wrong. So there's a couple issues with it, I guess, or maybe it's supposed to keep the orientation how it was originally. I wouldn't think so though. It shouldn't, it shouldn't keep the orientation. It should rotate it, everything. So it's a wee bit broken. But it's fine, it's great. Hey, Galaxy Vibe, thank you so much for two months as well. All you guys with the resubs, thank you so much. I hope you're doing fantastic. So many resubs, thank you. You guys are too kind. Maybe just try not to rotate stuff. So yeah, basically. We learned our lesson with this. We will no longer be doing the rotates. Because rotates are bad. Don't do rotates. Uh, there was no furnace there. There was no thing there. That was there. Yeah, we gotta spend a little bit of time fixing this, but... Is there supposed to be like a chest here? Oh no, we don't have our hopper minecarts. Uh, chest minecarts, too. Yeah, it didn't copy over the minecarts, did it? So, cart there. And chest there. So that one... Oh, right, yeah, no, that makes sense. So your your fuels go into that one. Or sorry, your fuels goes into there, and then the things that you want to smell goes into there, right? Doesn't copy entities. That would make sense. I'm, I'm fine with that. Uh, this lever is broke. <laughs> And then we also need to install the hopper minecart as well. And make sure that's pointing into the chest. Man, everything's everything's backwards on this thing. Ain't it? That's fine. Oh, also, I ran some kill commands. That's what it was. I ran kill commands. That is uh, the exact reason why there's no entities. <laughs> it's not entirely broken. It's just that I'm an idiot. So... You know, nothing new here, basically. Okay, so that is still more or less functional. 
From what I can tell, uh, this lever is also backwards as well, but we'll flick that. Cool. Well then, that's the first build in the world. That is actually a hopper minecart. That's a texture bug. Is that a super smelter? It's a smelter. I wouldn't say it's a super smelter anymore, but it's definitely a smelter of the highest degree. Now we're also gonna replace all of this sandstone. Fill from there and all the way to this corner. Grass, zero, replace, sandstone. Boop, there we go. And that's our first build in the world, cool. So now we're gonna like, actually we should do stained glass, zero, replace grass. There we go. So that's the first build. That looks a lot more official, doesn't it? Tutorial one. One gigabyte. That's that's like a medium world for a bad rock edition. That's pretty that's pretty normal for a medium world. Rotate is bad. Rotate is very bad indeed. A lectern might take up less space. Yeah, but then you gotta like open it. It's kind of annoying. Also, we're not upset with uh, room. So, still works. Do I mention? Oh, you know what? I should put the release date. So September 21st, 2017 was the release date of that. That was the release date of that. Crazy. Oh yeah, this is uh... So I used to say in my comment section what date it was up what date it was uploaded so this was uploaded 9 2 17 in minecraft 1.12 slash cu which is content update to 49 that was for xbox or tu 57 and i was playing on xbox one i used to do that i don't do that anymore it's a super teeny smelter it's a little bit your world's 80 megabytes that's fair so, I need you guys' help with this next part. You guys need to figure out what update of Minecraft Bedrock Edition was released during September 21st of 2017. If you go to the feedback site of Minecraft.net or whatever, then uh, you can find that out. Version... And still works! Hopper minecarts... Collect where they shouldn't though still works uh bug hopper my mine carts are weird and buggy <laughs> because reason to the wiki so yeah we're looking for the bedrock version of what was around september 21st 2017 So that is the first build in the world. Now, what is the second tutorial on the channel for Bedrock Edition? You gotta be a true OG to remember the second one. Everyone can find out the first one, but if you remember the second one, that's how you know you're OG. 1.2, better together. Hello, everyone. Sorry no, don't play the video. No, mute, no, mute, no. Oh, God. Don't play. No, now you're on the wrong video. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Better together. No, now you're still in the wrong video. What are you doing? Oh god, YouTube, why are you so dumb? Just load the video, but muted. Thank you. And pause it. I clicked pause four times. Pause. I don't know why YouTube's so laggy. You sound depressed in older videos. I just didn't know how to talk, I guess. Why, I don't sound depressed today? Phew. Jeez, rude. This video only has 40 comments. It's from 2017. Uh, so this is, let me show you. Because otherwise it doesn't make any sense. Boop, this is this video. And look how laggy YouTube is. It's not even like loading and stuff. This is what I'm talking about. Oh God, okay, there it goes, yep. See, this is what I'm dealing with off cam here. 
So, uh, this is a zombie skeleton XP farm, which I still quite like. Uh, this one is actually broken because it uses the old school water elevators. You guys remember the old school water elevators? Uh, not bubble columns, where it was like one water source every other block separated by signs or whatever. That's what this used because this was pre update aquatic. Oh, yeah, it had a little baby zombie filter even. Which is actually a thing that you don't want nowadays, because baby zombies uh, drop 10 experience, whereas zombies drop 5 experience. So, you don't want to filter out your babies. Now, back in the day, we had to, because there wasn't really elevators that worked well for the babies. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, it had like a chicken filter and stuff, which is actually pretty necessary. A lot of farms back then broke due to baby zombies uh, clogging up the build, so we had a little filter for that. Uh, so yeah, we're going to grab this from the world and we'll post that right here into this area right here Yeah, that was before I had any custom skins. I think that was before you were allowed to have custom skins for uh, For bedrock edition even Signs and water right super old school 2017 man, that's how far back we're digging You think you've used it, that tutorial once Ugh, words I can't speak Ah. <laughs> Surprisingly, like a lot of my builds have become a pretty staple throughout the Minecraft community. This is why I don't use flat worlds anymore. This crap right here. I think that's it right there. Yes, this is actually it. Or maybe this is the next version. It looks about the same though, doesn't it? Yeah, I even had like different tools and stuff for how far you should drop them. And this is that one over there. I made several tutorials on this thing. See you later, Stressed Obsidian. Thanks for stopping by the stream. You found a five spawner? Nice. Five spawners are hard to find. Quintuple spawners? That's a pretty solid farm. Oh, this is a tutorial I made way back in the day for zombie villagers. Good stuff. It's a really solid way of getting villagers back then. Because villager breeders had a cap. Of like 20. So it wasn't this one. Yeah, this is all legacy console stuff. I did separate the world into legacy console and bedrock. <laughs> like the dark side is bedrock. But that's also when I really started to get into redstone and stuff. And you'll see a lot more, more complicated contraptions that I started building over here. So I believe that this is the second tutorial on the channel. Uh, it looks about right. I don't think... I don't think I made this several times, did I? Yeah, this seems about right, okay. Cool, so we'll grab this and paste it into the world as well. This actually is broken. Do I have to censor myself in streaming? Uh, not really. I don't swear that often. <laughs> I, I know I know what to do when I'm, you know, on, on air. I'm not a sailor that you know of. Um, so we're gonna look over into this area. I think we can rotate this one just fine without having any issues. Because there's not really much in this build. Boop. It's so convenient to be able to copy paste things. That last one we had to spend a little bit extra time working on simply because uh, we broke it with a rotation, but when you don't have to fix things, it's just like, bam, instant gratification by copy-pasting builds. So that's as tall as it needs to be. It goes down into the ground by one. Fantastic. So now we can just hit the copy on that. Uh, copy. Boop. Is this amulet? It is indeed. It is indeed. Okay, we're gonna hit copy on that a couple times and then we got to go reopen the redstone testing world good I'm not logged into it. You can't be logged into a world and open it uh, What is was so great about zero tick farms basically that they were fast and cheap and easy and you put in very little effort to get an extreme amount of stuff back from them, which is why they're not really good uh, now they've been removed from Java Edition and they are being removed from Bedrock Edition too. 
The basalt farm is really good. I'm quite happy with that. I thought it would be way more complicated, but it's redstone free, which is really nice. I wish it spawned you somewhere not zero zero. Hey, we got a poll going. Let's see. How many tutorials have you built? One to three, four to six, seven to nine. Tutorials are hard. All of them. 15% of you for that. Jeez, you guys crazy. It's a lot of builds. I kind of expect it to be in like the one to three category. But seven to nine is winning with 60%. Is that one that you allowed them to uh, multi-vote on? Or is that a one vote only kind of deal? Poll. I guess I can vote and find out, right? I probably built about seven to nine of my own things as well. One vote only, okay, cool. That's about right. Uh, so this is gonna be backwards. Let's just place that right there for now. See, I snapped to the other direction. I shouldn't be doing that. I gotta raise that up like several blocks. Let's do 72. Is that about right? No. I'm so glad it allows you to go into the ground. 75. And then flip it that direction. And then we wanna move it towards positive X. Uh, so let's say like 15 maybe. There we go. That's almost exactly lined up. I will push it back a block, so it's actually a little bit better. Where's the inspired by option? Wow, seven to nine tutorials is how many, like over half of you have built. So seven to nine has 56%, 46 has 23. All of them has 9%, that's a few. One to three with seven. Tutorials are hard, 6%. That's way more than I expected. Oh, you guys are very dedicated. I'm glad I can make things that you all enjoy. That's really cool, actually. I had no idea it would be that many. That's a great pull. Yeah, I had no idea at all. Let's push that back another couple blocks. Like, I clicked on you. Boop. Yeah, that'll actually be perfectly lined up. And then it'll go into this wall by a block? Or no, it'll just be touching the wall. That's fine, we can remove that wall later. Cool. And let's go ahead and confirm. Boop, ta-da, I love it. Uh, now we can hit the save. You're trying to design your own stray farm. Any suggestions? You will need to be in a uh, snowy tundra biome. That way only strays spawn. You could use basically my mob farm, like with scaffolding water, but only have a single layer because they're only surface spawns. There's no cave spawns in the snowy tundra. Uh, basically just have like a giant platform. You can send them to the nether and then they will get out of your mob cap really quick and that'll give you a fantastic spawn rates. And that's really all there is to it. Okay, let's close this now and uh, wait for that to close down. We got a whole bunch of things happening right now. We got a few new followers. We got Axinim, hopefully I'm saying that correctly, the Harry Zombie, and Entity1172 along with TTV. Thank you so much for the follows, everyone. Also, Axinim, thank you for subscribing tier one. That's really nice of you. We also got Alpha Omega with 10 biddies, Tigrissa with one, two, three biddies. Showing some love, being nice. <laughs> and Diagonal with another 100 biddies as well. Y'all crazy. Thank you so much. Hey, there we go. Beautiful. Looking good. So the item frames are a little bit off. Oh, but they still got stuff in them. <laughs> uh, that's actually perfectly fine. I will take that potato. Oh, the item frame's still sitting there? That's cool. The sign's a little bit off as well. I like that you can pick block things from the backside of an item frame. That's kind of cool. Oh, oh my. Now we got lots of things happening. What are you doing with your lives? Being the crazy fools that you are. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the support, everyone. We got so much stuff happening. How big of a sun bomb is that? Uh, Axonim gifting 10 subs to the community, you, you, you mad lad. 
absolutely insane. Thank you so much. We got a hype train going. We got gifted subs to Meadowlark, uh, Dragod, Moonblaze, Zack, Silverstone, The Monkey Dan, Backstar, Juniper, Duck84, Rogue GTA. Thank you for being part of the streams and make sure to show some love for Axonim being a beautiful person. I want to see many, many pigos in the chat. <laughs> we also got Focus Coder for 100 bitties. Thank you, thank you. It's insane. Y'all are too kind, seriously. You're building the gas farm? Very nice. The gas farm is great. I'm actually so happy with how that build turned out. Honestly. That's my first, like, big tutorial in a while, and I think it turned out fantastically. There's a couple small areas that could be refined on it, like for the suffocation bars, you actually only need nine blocks in order to make them a one-hit kill by the trident killers. Uh, but I like to make them suffer, so it's whatever. <laughs> It is what it is, right? And then, like the the minecart cactus part of the farm, that could be slightly refined and tuned as well. But overall, very small, minor things. Uh, nothing, nothing that's actually like important. Just like some saved resources. But I'm still very happy with it. I'm quite, I'm quite good. I like it. <laughs> I like building farms, okay? As you might be able to tell. Okay, so let's kill all those items. We gotta log out of this world for those chests to connect. It's a bug. Don't worry about it, James. Come on in, just tell me my chest is wrong. <laughs> what am I thinking for my 100th bug rock? I don't know, you guys have had a lot of good suggestions. I'm not entirely sure what I wanna do. Uh, there's been a lot of good ideas. And I'm not fully sure. Like, there's just a lot of stuff that I could do. Okay, this is tutorial number two. And this was uploaded on do 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 September 24th to 2017. September 24, 2017. Uh, that would be version 1.2 better together. 1.2 better together and massive air quotes <laughs> uh, broken update aquatic makes undead not float not gloat in water not float in water cool uh, is this video actually updated to include that Yes, it says this farm is now broken and update aquatic. Uh, I did not include anything in the description of that video, so let me go ahead and update the description of that real quick. Because that's also like the entire point of this little thing, is to go back through and make sure all of my videos are now proper. What texture pack do I use? Uh, it is Bedrock Tweaks. You can find it on Google. You can find them on Google. That's very, very good. There's quite a few good things. It's basically uh, just, you know, vanilla tweaks, but for Bedrock Edition. Okay, so that video is now updated. Now we got to get in the next build. So what's the third tutorial I made? Uh, that's Omengo's Melon and Pumpkin Farm for Bedrock Edition. Oh, so a bit of history for the channel that you might not know about is... I was originally, of course, doing legacy console builds. And... I then started to, to make Bedrock Edition builds. I was like, okay, you know what? They killed Legacy Console. Everyone is now forced to play on Bedrock Edition, so I'm gonna try and help out people switching from Legacy Console to Bedrock Edition because they just completely changed every single game mechanic and every single 
build and all redstone and everything. So it's all completely different now. 100% different. So I started to make a little bit of a series of will it work converting Java things to bedrock. And this is one of the first things I did. El Mango's Mountain Pumpkin Farm for bedrock. And thank you so much for the hype train, everyone. That was really kind of you. I really appreciate it. We have so many more notifications to read. Uh, Meadow Lark with 100 bitties. Thank you so much. We got Zero Cruel with 100 bitties as well. You've been here for a while. Well, I don't think so. <laughs> Prove it. Uh, we got Alpha Omega with 10 bitties. Thank you, thank you. And. As. As Ivador. As Ivador. <laughs> Something like that. Thank you so much for the five bitties. Sorry if I'm butchering your name. I know I totally ruined that. What's up with this trident? So, this is the conversion of Mango's farm. The redstone's a bit, a bit wonky, ain't it? But I guess it is what it is. I mean, it did technically work, didn't it? <laughs> you had to lower down the redstone lines and power them all directly. Honestly, not a terrible conversion, if I do say so myself. So this is the next thing that we're gonna grab and uh, pull into the world. So here we are back in Amulet. Here's the build right here. Select that block. Let's make that a bit taller. Makes this easier to work with. I believe that this little conversion right here should actually still work. Uh, of course, I have a more updated version of it, but this does actually still work. Or at least it should, anyway. I see no reason why it wouldn't. Uh, this is definitely going to be backwards, and we're definitely going to have to fix some things. Unfortunately. When's the next Truly Bedrock stream? That will be... What day is it? Tuesday? <laughs> uh, that'll be possibly tomorrow or Thursday. I don't know. I don't know. Thanks for stopping by Alpha Omega. We'll see you hopefully in the next one. Have yourself a good night. Okay. And copy. And now we got to open up the main world as well. A future silent problem, absolutely. Always a future silent problem. Oh, I really need to get the coordinates of the new area. 1400, 200. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure when the next Truly Better Rock stream will be. It'll either be tomorrow if I decide to stream tomorrow, or it'll be Thursday. Almost certainly Thursday. So, keep your eyes peeled for that, I suppose. Okay, our coordinates are 1800 by negative 100. Help me remember that, please. <laughs> uh, let's get our pasty paste. We need to raise that up. Why is it so low? You need to be raised up, dude. Well, that's not. That's too high. Can we try, like, 64? Nope, too low. 65. There we go. Do I want to reverse this thing? I kind of want it to face the correct direction, but I know I'm going to have to fix, like, all of the rails. But I guess it is what it is. Let's uh, flip that around. I'm also going to have to fix the hoppers, the lever, uh, all of the redstone components, and basically every bit of rail. I don't think I'll have to fix anything else. Definitely all of the redstone, though. Boop. Uh, let's switch that a couple blocks to the negative Z as well. Just to get a little bit more gap in there. And then we will... Maybe move it back a block? Although it's already, it's already too far back. Let's move it forward a block, I guess. That way it's not, like, going into that wall. Is that correct? It is. It looks a little bit weird, though. It'll be fine. Confirm! Save. Save. Save! Close. 
<laughs> you finished building the Enderman farm after burning it down by accident. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> I, uh, I play with fire spreads off for some reason. I should probably just turn fire spreads on. But yeah, I didn't realize that the fire would spread to the uh, the scaffolding. My bad, I'm sorry. It's totally my bad. I should have, if I just like added the fire after added the scaffolding, then there would never be an issue. I think I did update the, the comments about that though. So hopefully, hopefully anyone who reads the, the comment, the pen comment, won't have that issue. Hey, there he is. Looking good. Oh, the pistons are backwards. Okay, well, I guess that's to be expected. Okay, let's go fix this thing. Oh God, the rails. Oh, the rest of the rails are actually pretty fine though. Look at that, that's not too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, one of these is gonna have a bunch of items in them, right? Yeah. A catcher. Catcher. If I catch a you doing that again, that's gonna be into the line for you, buddy. I don't know why. Oh, that's for the rails. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, that is backwards. That's backwards. That's backwards. That's backwards too. And then that hopper is backwards. Everything's backwards. <laughs> You're really late. Nah, you're perfectly on time. You are exactly here when you should be. There's no such thing as being late to a live stream. There's either on time or less on time. <laughs> uh, this right here looks a little bit strange, doesn't it? That's definitely missing a little bit of redstone. What happened to that redstone? Was that redstone never there? That redstone seems like it should be there. Should be there. Gotta switch around all those dudes. This is still so much more convenient. Let me tell you. This is the most convenient tool in the world. Even if we do have to go fix some things, I still would way rather do this than build everything from scratch or like messing around with structure blocks. This is still pretty awesome. Bedrock Edition is getting some really nice things nowadays. Like we never used to have nice things, but now we're getting all kinds of nice things and it's great, it's good to see. Bedrock Edition is really upping its game nowadays. It's beautiful. Uh, I feel like that rail on there might be slightly broken. Oh yeah, they're facing the wrong directions. Um, Why was that like that? Oh, cause that trap door. Now, assuming the water, it doesn't be as stupid. Thank you, water. This is always why we can't have nice things. Yes. Look at those rails. Seems about right. Uh, let me just teleport out of here. There we go. Convenience. And then, of course, we gotta go ahead and uh, wipe out all that sandstone. This is so fun. I love this. I hope it's fun for you guys. I'm, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> sandstone. And now we just need to do some basic, basic markers for this. Throw away all that stuff. Oh, I need to drop a download link for Amulet. Amulet World Editor. Uh, if you're watching on the second channel, for some reason an hour into this, then there's also gonna be a link in the, uh, the description. Let's see, what's the proper link to it? AmuletEditor.com, okay. Uh, yeah, so this is it right here. So it's Amulet-Editor.com. Very, very nice. It's for Mac, Windows, and Linux. So pretty solid stuff. This tutorial was released on October 3rd, 2017. So this is tutorial three. Twenty seventeen, man. Does this still work? You guys think this still works? Should still work. I see no reason why this wouldn't work. Assuming that the red sun? Yeah, this yeah, this should definitely still work. Let 
maybe? <laughs> Why did you pop out of there? You're supposed to go into Hopper. Can we try that again? Oh, it's facing the wrong direction. <laughs> that, was, that was much confusing. I was like, uh... <laughs> There we go. Yeah, so it breaks all the things, then it goes and collects all the things. Yeah, that still works. Beautiful. Uh, there's a new version of this, though, so you don't need to build this version. This is super old. It's 2017. So, yeah, you don't need to build this. This is super old. Uh, but it does actually still work. What was on this fourth sign? Was that broken? Yeah. Still works. Uh, newer versions and updates. Upgrades. However. Yeah, so like, for instance, you can uh, make that block there in the middle waterlogged. You should change your layout of melon and pumpkin stems to get growing, to get faster growing. And then this redstone can definitely be refined as well. That's a little bit all over the place. I would move this to right here and then make this be the output to power that and then the output would also go through that block to power the powered rail. That's what I would do in the new updates. Something like that. Just basically chop off all of that redstone right there. The redstone works fine, but it's a little bit ugly. Is all there is to that. Okay then. So that's pretty solid. I mean, we already got, you know, three builds in here. This would normally take a lot longer than an hour to uh, rebuild all that, even with commands and fast speediness. Moving on to the next build, I suppose. The next one was uh, technically a tutorial, but it was for getting the Ender Dragon into a minecart. Now, that's something I can't really include into this world. So like basically ender dragons used to be able to ride in boats and minecarts and if you go and just place down a boat on like the the fountain it would hop right in there It'd stay in there you could just kill it it was really useful Is universal tree farm broken it is not but you should replace the burnout clock with a comparator clock if you're having issues with it Yeah If something works, it doesn't have to look the best. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Functionality is generally more important than form. Uh, in, in most instances. Like, a lot of farms, if you're just looking through a standard player's world, like, their farms are probably going to look like trash. <laughs> and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. It works, it gets the job done. You don't need to worry about decorating it, right? If you decorate it, then cool, awesome. So, can we get AI list dragons? If you wanna watch the uh, the video for the dragon in a minecart, here's the link to it. Boop, it's broken, but it was kind of fun. It's basically pre-bug rock. <laughs> I have to include a little thing right here. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and put down like an actual minecart, shall we? And maybe we'll put down like a dragon head too. <laughs> just to be a little bit more fancy than just like a sign, you know. Uh, let's get a minecart and then we'll need a piece of rail. Technically you could get into a boat as well. Can I place this right here? No, it's like an actual block. Okay, well, I'll place that right there. And then something like that. Can I just place a lever directly on the back of that? Because it is like a block, ain't it? Oh, you can't! Oh, that's lame. Sadness. <laughs> oh, that's so silly. Why can't I do that? Um... 
Give me a barrier. So it's barrier. I'm trying to do the fancy thing right here. There we go. Nom 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 nom. And let's clear the inventory. Okay, so the next build was what was it? Flower farm, apparently. No sound alerts. Oh yeah, we're on the wrong screen actually. Whoops, sorry. You know what I should be doing? I should be doing this. Is that fine? Yeah, that'll work. Oops. Is that fine? Select the game. Oh, I think I broke the game. <laughs> Hello, Minecraft. I think I broke. I think I broke the game. Hello there. Hi. Okay, so we got a bunch of new followers as well. Thank you so much. Uh, we got Big Bade and Rally Girl and Game Knight, along with Ruckus Boom and Twitch Minu, along with Astro. Thank you so much for the follows, everyone. I broke something. Yeah, I think I crashed the game a little bit. I don't know what I did, but I broke something. Zombie wearing a dragon head. Oh, yeah, that could work. Uh, if you look in the Discord server, you will see the FOV changer. It is pinned in the Discord channel. Would recommend. World's corrupted. No! That's why we made a backup. <laughs> is the world corrupted? World's not corrupted. You liar. Yeah, big fat liar. Okay, so next to farm. Let's check it out, shall we? Uh, let me pull up that real quick for you to see. If it'll ever load. Hey, the dirt skin! Look at that. This is on Legacy Console. This isn't Bedrock Edition. Oh, but it worked on Bedrock Edition. Look how simple that is. I can build that faster than I can copy paste it. Look at that buffer. What am I trying to watch the videos on over here? 3000k? Jesus. 720p! It doesn't even load on that. Oh, fancy transitions. Oh my god, fancy transitions. Why well, I have better <laughs> I have better production quality back then. Hold on, we're gonna watch this in 140p. Well hold on, hold on, what's up with this? I wanna watch this in higher quality, actually. Excuse me. We're gonna watch this in 1080p. I'm gonna kill the entire live stream. Okay, what's up with this? Fancy production quality. Oh, fancy transition. Oh, fancy transition. Oh, fancy transition. <laughs> Bedrock Edition, Java, Legacy Console. I think I just recorded it on Legacy because uh, that's what I was more comfortable with. Fancy! Imagine how good 3000p would be. 3000p is not even 4K, is it? It's like just barely 4K. Anyway, amulet time. Boop. I believe this is actually like literally right there. Hi. That one has four hoppers, whereas the other one has two. E do, 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 do. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's so small. Look at that. It's tiny. Uh, select. Okay, it's hard to select. It's so small. Whoop. Okay, I probably don't need to make these things like exact sizes, but I kind of want to The height really doesn't matter though, so I'm not gonna worry about that Everything else does matter. Okay, so that is literally the entirety of the build uh, Copy that Boop. I gotta log out of the game so we don't corrupt things And we gotta reopen the world don't forget. Ah, yeah, don't forget. I'm not forgetting. I'm not forgetting anything. I didn't forget anything. One extra block on the front. Nah, it's fine. Okay, what are the cords, though? They were 1,800, negative 100, right? Yeah, I remember good things, good. Uh, we're gonna paste that right there. All right, it's too far. Uh, maybe height does matter, actually. Well, there were 673. Jesus, no. Just 73. There we go. <laughs> uh, let's try 69. 
Hey, nice. We gotta reverse it. Boop, boop. There we go. And... Oh, yeah, I did miss the block in the front. That's fine. It's just two hoppers. And they would be in the wrong position anyway. I will keep this right here, actually, because that is pretty much lined up with the rest of the builds. And now we're going to hit paste. Confirm. Save. 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 Close. Wait. <laughs> That's not a quote. No, don't. <laughs> Oh, jeez. You just made a Wither Skeleton farm in your world and it works great. Very nice. Wither Skeleton farms are quite fun. I haven't designed one in so long. Uh, we'll see that tutorial come up eventually as well. But yeah, I haven't designed one of those in ages. Oh, it actually goes underneath there, doesn't it? Let's see, how is this actually supposed to work? Because it's all it's all kinds of funky. I know we gotta have stairs right here. To not kill the grass. No grass shall die on my watch today. Dun dun dun. And I don't think we need those right there. That is definitely backwards. That is backwards. That's backwards. That's backwards. That's backwards. That's backwards. Uh, what's up with those hoppers there? Oh, is that item collection or is that bone meal distribution? Let's go. Let's go back to the world real quick. You want to make a wither rose farm, but you don't know how to make farms? Uh, there is a tutorial for one on my channel. But, yeah, honestly, a wither rose farm, it's not really going to be that useful to you. What do you want wither roses for? That's the question. Oh, it's six hoppers and a chain. I see. And then that's for bone meal. And that doesn't need to be there. What's the item collection? Do you just stand there? I guess that's fine. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, Wither Roses, Wither Rose Farms, I would not recommend that if you are brand new to building farms because you're messing with a wither and that can go very, very bad, very quickly. So if you're not feeling confident, it's probably a good sign that you probably should uh, maybe not. Of all things to start out with, probably, probably don't start with a wither. Um, Maybe, maybe work your way up to that. Especially because, like, you probably don't have, you know, Villager Trading Hall and all that good stuff that you would need to get back up gear in order to uh, defeat it more easily, you know? All these hoppers are backwards. If it did escape. That's just my word of advice, though. You can take it or leave it. It's up to you, really. Uh, now this thing should actually work as well. Place sand, stone. Bam. Do you think this thing's gonna work? I think it should. Maybe the timings will be off on it. But it should work. We're gonna toss some bone meal in there. I would assume that the sky is empty. Oh, it actually does have some. Great. Does it have an item in it? Probably not. I mean, looks like it's working to me. Why not? <laughs> if the wither escapes the killer, you're gonna fly away and never go back there. I mean, I guess that's a fair plan. <laughs> I mean, you know, why not? <laughs> Ain't no shame in doing that. Let's be honest. Ain't no shame at all. So technically, this does still work. Yeah.
<laughs> We're literally watch watching grass grow. Literally watching grass grow. Oh, right, my zooms are broken now because uh, the game crashed. Boop, boop. There we go. Watch that grass grow. Watch that grass grow. Watch that grass grow. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's grown grass. I grow the best grass on all of Twitch. Don't take that out of context. Uh, looks like we might need to have the lever be right there. Yeah. Okay. Well, that makes sense. That still works, actually. Uh, we will grab some glass for the front edge of this because we were supposed to do that. See, it's nice to have stone underneath here. I'm glad I set up the command blocks for that. <laughs> has been taken out of context. Congratulations. No! <laughs> How dare you take things I say out of context. Okay, this is tutorial number four. Tutu tutorial number four? Yep. Boop. This video was on October 21st. October 21st. 2017. Uh, that was probably still better together. Version 1.2 better together. All platforms. Yeah, because that actually works on Java console and everything. Yeah, so that sign's still accurate. It does still work, but there is, of course, newer farms and upgrades available. Zombie pigmen naturally have green thumbs. Oh, yeah. Oh, my hands are... And my feet are black, too, huh? Does that mean that I'm in the coal industry? No. It is immortalized. Did you add that as a quote? Oh, God damn it. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't be surprised. Thanks. Cool. Okay, well, that's that one done. Uh, I don't have my kill command for items, so we'll just let things despawn. Otherwise, let's back out of the world and check out the next tutorial, then. So, next tutorial after that was actually the Charge Creeper Farm. I think I do actually have this. Oh, this is one that I do actually want to show you. Look at that water. Do you guys remember that water? Oh, man. Beautiful, beautiful water of Bedrock Edition. Like, just that neon blue. <laughs> Look at that. God, it was terrible. Oh, and that movement from the controller as well. Honestly, not a bad move around. Not like a bad cinematic move around. Controllers are pretty nice for that. Hey, subscribe. You should totally subscribe on YouTube. Look at that. Good plugs. And I'm professional YouTuber even way back. Solid. And then... Yeah, this was automatic charge group farm. This was pre-update aquatic, of course. So this was uh, still getting lightning. Now on Bedrock Edition, uh, you can actually get lightning super quickly. Do I show that in this? It's just nonstop lightning. Yeah, I show that. Hey, different skin. <laughs> Literally a different skin in every video. Three videos in a row, different skin. <laughs> we had the knight, and then the dirt man, and then the the yeti. All right, I used mine carts. I could have used uh, armor stands. That would have been way cheaper. I never thought about that back then. But that would work too, actually. I think they're bringing back the little blue water. Uh, yeah, actually, we did just get some updates to make water completely different on Bedrock Edition, but it's not this terrible blue. It's actually like the nice blues of Java Edition. Anyway, I believe I actually have this world. That's the old water world. Oh man, do I have that? Water world. Ooh. Oh, you know what? I do. Hold on. Let me go to Mediafire. I made a download of this way back in the day. I can't believe I just remembered that. Is this going to be a bedrock now? Yeah, it should be. Hold on. Uh, let's see. Give me just a moment. Uh, yeah, silence water world testing. 
860 downloads. When is this from? This is from 2018. Yeah, let me download this real quick. I don't know if I have this on my computer or not, but hey, thank you, Mediafire, for keeping this up. Look at that. This is a world I haven't been in in ages. Look at that. Beautiful. I completely forgot about these worlds. Uh, if you want to download it, I guess here's the download link since, you know, I'm already doing that thing. Don't click download here ads. Mediafire is terrible about that. There's so many ads. It's, I guess it's not really their fault, but you know. Does it say when this was opened? Oh, well, I just clicked it. Right. Have a good night, Texan. Thank you so much for stopping by the stream. It's a whole heap of boom. Absolutely. And see, look how different the water is now. It's so much different now. Also, this world's probably gonna be completely broken, isn't it? If I fly off into the edges, it's probably gonna start generating different chunks, isn't it? Or maybe not, because it wasn't loaded in an update that was broken. I guess it's fine. Cool. How long have I been playing Minecraft? Since 2015, basically. So here's a couple mob farms I did for uh, way back in the day on Legacy Console. These would never work on Bedrock Edition. Not well, anyway. Is it just me, or does this world feel like it has the old textures? It just feels like old. It just feels old. How much gunpowder is in here? Eight to nine thousand drops an hour. This was a crappy farm for Legacy Console, and it still just demol- Oh my god! <laughs> still just demolishes Bedrock Edition. And you will never get those rates with this farm. This might get a couple hundred drops an hour. Oh man. That's great. <laughs> Why is the stream silent? Because you might be having your volume turned down. That's why. All those observers. It wasn't really that many observers. I mean, it's like 20. Look at the redstone for this, though. It's so simple. Up. Uh, oh, yep, yeah, there he is. El Mango had, like, super complicated redstone for this farm. I was like, this this works. <laughs> like, if you go back and look at the tutorial that this is based off of, because it is based off of an El Mango build, there's, like, a thousand tons of redstone up there. It's like, oh, my God, dude. You do not need that much redstone. Upper clock. That's all you need. It was amazingly complicated. It was like so much redstone. Anyway. There's probably a reason for it. I'm probably just too dumb to understand it. But still, I, I simplified it. So, this thing. This is so cute and tiny. It's kind of like a little spaceship, ain't it? Shoots charge creepers at you. So, we're going to copy that dude. Let's go back over to Amulet. Amulet. We're going to open up this world. Hopefully we don't spawn 10,000 blocks away. I wonder what the bottom of this is. Just gravel? Oh, just bedrock even. That's cool. I made this world because it had a natural perimeter. Specifically for testing these mob farms on. Uh, here it is. So we're going to basically just make a box and then we'll fix it later. I believe this thing does actually still work to this day. Like, there's really no reason that it should be broken. But of course, like, there's no reason to build it either because, like, tridents exist. So it's just really, like, it's, it's kind of cool. It's a relic from the past. This is what we used to have to do before, uh, you know, tridents were a thing. I built two massive versions of this on Silent Survival, actually. Do I need the water? You know what? Yeah, let's go down with the water. Let's keep some of that water with us. Symbolize that it's above an ocean, damn it. <laughs> built it anyway. Honestly, like, yeah, it still works. It's pretty simple. Uh, we will copy. 
And then, am I in a world? No, I'm not. Always good to double check that. We gotta go open up the main. Hey, happy birthday, Arthur. Hopefully I'm saying your name correctly, Arthurm. Something like that. Thank you for stopping by the stream. And I hope you are having a great day today. Eighteen hundred. Oh my god, I cannot type. <laughs> and negative hundred. I wish you would just save the coordinates. That way you didn't have to type it re every time. Okay. Paste. Uh, we're gonna have to rotate that. That's actually gonna have a lot of things in it that are not gonna rotate well. I guess it's a small version. It's fine. Be nice if rotation worked a little bit better on this. Plus X. It's so convenient to have that plus X over there. Seriously, thank you, devs. Uh, we also want to put this towards negative Z a bit. Just kind of move it away from that other build. Boop. Fantastic. And is it lined up on the front side? It looks like it more or less is. Cool. Let's go ahead and... Oh, move that up. Yeah, we gotta move that up. 65. Oh, no. What, what are you doing over there? No. No. Oh, no. What are you... Oh, no. Come on. <laughs> Damn it. Never left-click in this program. Never left-click. Even accidentally. It was ruining all your progress. 67. Right click. There we go. Uh, that's going to go down by 2. 65. There we go. And that should about do it. Confirm. We we'll have to go fix all these things. See, it already shows us that it's all broken. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to remember how to build this thing. Oh, God. It's been so long. Uh, save. We got a new sub, Lowly Legal. Thank you so much for subscribing with your Prime, and also thank you for the follow as well. Hope you're doing good tonight. What year was the update Aquatic? Um, 2018. Yeah, 2018. It came out when I was a traveling, and that really sucked. <laughs> uh, we also got Zero, Enlu, Electrofury. Uh, Razor Naman and Ice Icy Frostbite, along with Polar Ghost and Livy Loves and Game Night. Thank you so much for the follows, everyone. Also, Livy, thank you so much for the biddies. It's very nice of you. Many, many biddies. Uh, as for the 12 stacked raid farm, I'm not sure when that's gonna come out. I don't know. Don't ask me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have an answer. Slimestone, not redstone. Slimestone is good. It's way better on Java, unfortunately. Although there is some pretty cool stuff for Bedrock nowadays. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, I guess we don't need that world open anymore. No, do not save. Keep that world open. Look at that hopper texture. What's up with that? Devs, you need to update your textures, yo. What is this? Alpha Minecraft textures? What's up with that? What is that? Weird. Become moisturized. Yep. Good quote. Okay, then. Is the raid farm done? Technically. I have some things I want to add to it. Yeah, so all of this. I feel like... Uh, that would be there. I'm gonna have to go look at the redstone for this. That definitely makes sense to have power there. The rest of this, though? Oh, right, it goes down. That's what it is. Yeah, the signal goes down. That's the only way that this makes sense. So weird. 
that can be simplified a lot. That's a lot of redstone torches. <laughs> so we also need to have these tripwires be fixed. Look at that texture of the tripwire. It's like got the wire off of it still, but it's rotated. Weird. Weird. Uh, rails, those need to be updated. And then we got to get the carts over here. Boop. Normal carts. Oh yeah, super easy to get carts on these. Because they just kind of push each other away. Why do I not get Java? I have Java. We played on Java Edition way before we played on Bedrock. Uh, so that should block off the entrance to these cells. So how this worked is you would drop in creepers from a creeper-only farm. Because those were a thing that existed. <laughs> like in the everyday reality of a Minecraft player back then. And th that would allow you to... Oh, did we copy a wrong one? I feel like I copied that for the thumbnail. Uh, so yeah, you drop in creepers, and then they would go to these individual cells. They would fill up that one, and then that one, and then that one, then that one. And these lights would turn on when you had a creeper in that cell. And then you'd basically wait for a thunderstorm, and a thunderbolt or lightning would hit this right here or anywhere in this area. And if it broke the minecart and turned that into vaporization, then it would also strike the charged creeper down here. Or it would strike the creeper, turn it into a charged creeper, and then the cell would open up and it would release the charge creeper into your output, basically. It was super simple, actually. And it worked really, really well. Hello, Polly, how you doing? Tell that to past silent. Future silent needs time travel. <laughs> yeah. Future silent could use time travel, couldn't he? Uh, I do want to check out the redstone for this. Replace the pressure plate with bun or something else? Mm, what's that? This was meant to be fully automatic. Yeah, so torch there, torch there, torch there. Oh yeah, so it filled up the right side, and then it filled up the left side. It was pretty convenient. Um... Yeah, that's that's alright, isn't it? I believe so. So torches, 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 torches! Oh, for the water streams? Oh yeah, possibly. Yeah, I think the signs are pretty well messed up on this, aren't they? Uh, that technically still works fine. That still works fine as well. These are just on the wrong blocks. Yep, all this is still good. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna leave everything exactly how I built it in the tutorials, because if I change something on here, then like obviously that doesn't change it in the video. Um, which is you know, the important bit is what's in the video. Uh, so anything that has to be changed to work will need to be updated in the comments and the description and everywhere on YouTube itself. All right, you're a little bit broken. So torche, 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 torche. And that should actually be pretty solid. So let's go ahead and test this thing out real quick because I know that this still works. And I would like to see it in action. Sounds like it'd be fun. So you drop in one the creeper and then he flows to into his cell. As you can see there, light turns on, cell seals up. The next one unlocks for the next creeper. Why'd you flow out of there? Are you not? Powering that piston? That was weird. Oh, right! This is actually broken due to a bug! Oh, that's so stupid! When you log out, uh, tripwire hooks don't remember that they're being powered by something in them. Oh, it's so dumb. That's so dumb. 
Right. <laughs> Bedrock edition bugs. Well, if it wasn't for that, oh, see, this is why you gotta test things. This is why it's important to go back and test things, because you'd never think about that. But like, I actually have a little testing setup over in that area. You can see it right there, actually. Right on my crosshairs for uh, this exact bug. That's why it's important. That one went to the back cell. Sometimes a little bit awkward of how it fills in, you know, pathfinding and stuff. But it's usually pretty solid. It doesn't necessarily matter if it messes up a little bit here and there. Uh, let's go ahead and summon lightning. See that broke both of those dudes. Uh, I don't think it dropped the items on Legacy Console, but even if it did, it wouldn't matter. They would despawn. And then these guys should have gotten struck by lightning. It was a bit too far away. Hmm. I don't know. Fancy way to get gunpowder. <laughs> Test town. Yeah, I guess that is kind of what we're doing, isn't it? Hi. We're going to build this up a little bit. Let's expand that a block so it's even on the other side. There you go. I mean, it's a thing. It exists. <laughs> what else can you say about it, right? Uh, we're going to fix this up real quick and uh, add our things to it. Creepers are kind of cute. They really are. They got that certain charm to them. Like, it's undeniable the charm that creepers have. It's great. They're just the best. They're just the best. <laughs> Rename the creepers to subscribe for nostalgic purposes. Absolutely. I fully approve of this. Okay, so that is tutorial number, what, five? Man, we've kind of been going down uh, memory lane today, haven't we? That's really only gonna happen with uh, this live stream. Cause like all the future builds are pretty recent, you know? October 28th, 2017 as well. We're still back in 2017. Uh, that does actually work on all platforms. Bug, trip wires. Don't remember they are powered when relog. Yeah. Uh, works. Tried and CO. <laughs> Version says 1.12. Oh, it does say 1.12. Oh, it says 1.12 on this one too. Yeah. Whoops. My bad. Uh, version 1.2. I always type 1.12. Or like 1.15 or 1.16 or something. Like that's just like a habit of mine. Like even if I want to type like 11.6 or something, it's always 1.16. <laughs> it just always happens. Um, better together, all platforms. Grab that. Yeah, so this should still work on all platforms. I mean, it's pretty basic redstone, really. So yeah, the trip wires is a bug. I will need to address that at some point. I still need to test that a little bit further because like the lightning isn't really doing what it probably should. So I'll need to test that out. What were some console exclusives? Well, everything in this playlist that we're going through is for Bedrock Edition. Uh, so none of this stuff is specifically for... For console. I do have a console tutorials playlist. Now, console edition did have some exclusives. Um, I forget exactly what they were at the moment. Like, the tutorial worlds were super fun. Super great. 
Controllers are painful. Nah, controllers are great. Okay, now the next tutorial was technically a what will spawn video. This is something that I should probably revisit. This was me and Will Kreplin. If you are OG enough to uh, remember, oh, Will Kreplin, December 3rd, 2017. So we tested like every block in the game to see what would spawn. Typing is so slow on controllers. Oh yeah, well not for typing, it's not made for typing. <laughs> I didn't even like try to record Bedrock on PC correctly. <laughs> it shows like the top and bottom. So yeah, me and Will went through and did a bunch of testing to see what would happen and what would spawn on what. So I set up some command blocks and stuff. I definitely don't have this world anymore. Cause like this was the the dark ages of Bedrock Edition. No one knew nothing about Bedrock. So we had to like go through and like basically start from the ground up with tech and just like see what happened where and see what was up basically. Like this is before simulation, before simulation distances were figured out. This is before like all that stuff. Uh, this video is for, does it not tell you what update? I thought I said what update it was. Mm, I guess it's still 1.2.5 Bedrock Edition. That's what I thought. Uh, Netherwood shouldn't be able to be a furnace fuel. You, that's not something that burns. It's immune to fire and lava. It's not supposed to be used as a fuel. You can craft it into sticks, however. Uh, yeah, of course the video's for, for Bedrock Edition, but I was like, what version of Bedrock Edition specifically? Uh, version, version 1.2.5. See, 1.12 again, 1.2.5. <laughs> I'm not gonna stop writing better together because it's not better together. It was worse together for a long time. Tutorial number six. This was December 3rd, 2017. <laughs> You're timing out Casmul for that? Oof. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, what will spawn? Testing, testing different blocks of the game. I guess we could recreate the little the little structure that we had here. I guess we'll see you in five minutes, Casmuel. Man, that's terrible. We shouldn't be talking trash about controllers. <laughs> oh, rips. And there goes Casper. Thank you, Casper. <laughs> Is there a way to get the old versions of Pocket Edition? If you have a version switcher and version launcher, then yeah, you kind of can. Also, Thoughts, thank you so much for the 100 biddies. Sorry that I missed that. And thank you for the follow as well. I hope you're doing well tonight. Uh, we also got y 4 No and R2Gamer. Thank you for the follows. So, I guess we can go ahead and kind of recreate this little setup that we had right here. Look at those old school textures. Ridiculous. Uh, let's grab some blocks. So, Jack-O-Lantern. Put that right in the middle. We got some magma blocks. Basically, this is just like recreating nostalgia. Then we had some, this was before the new button types added. Wow, you guys remember that? I guess that wasn't really that long ago, was it? That was Update Aquatic that we got new buttons. New buttons? New textures? Man, Minecraft has come so far. For uh, all the stuff. Let's 
so many things have been done over the years to the game. So much has changed. Like when you really think back and look at the older updates, like so many just like base things of the game that you never thought would ever change have been updated. The cave update is going to be really weird as well. Because like they're changing how like the basic ores work, like iron and gold. Kind of, kind of incredible. Now we can use fortune on that thing? That's just wrong. <laughs> That's just wrong indeed. Uh, we also got Sporty Reaper. Thank you for the follow. And Anonimo. Thank you for the host as well. Jeremy with a follow as well. We tested leaves. That's when we found out that uh, spiders could spawn on leaves. Stairs, redstone blocks. We tested. We tested so many different things. We tested so many different things. It was a ridiculous amount of stuff that got tested. Like we tested all the different orientations of trapdoors and stuff. There we go. <laughs> Flicking a lever on a redstone block. Like, uh, why isn't this doing anything? Yeah. Uh, don't worry, I'm the smart person. You can trust me for facts. <laughs> Remember when Minecraft was only creative? Oh, man. Many long times ago. Many, many long times ago. Remember when they changed it so that you had to smelt down stone to, uh, to, uh, you know, get smooth stone? Yeah, I remember that. I don't like that. I still don't like that to this day. Still not a fan of that. Okay, is that the entire setup? I believe it is, besides farmland. And of course now we got the beautiful hose up in here to uh, help make that happen. Where do we put water for this? It's already turning to dirt. Uh, I can put it underneath the jack-o'-lantern. Haha. -ha. That's how we do things. Boop, boop. That should work, right? That should work. Yep. Okay then. So that is tutorial number six of the channel. Not really anything of uh, too terrible interest there. I guess we'll split it up to keep it symmetrical. And wow, look at all those items. <laughs> what are we doing? We are creating the ultimate redstone world. So, so far we've gotten our first like six tutorials in here. So the first six Bedrock Edition tutorials that I ever made have been successfully uh, ported over to this world. So we got the first one right here with the super smelter. We got the second one with the mob spawner, El Mingo's conversion to bedrock with the thing. We got the dragons and the minecarts and the boats. We got the flower farm, the charge creeper farm. And then what was this tutorial? Seven? Okay, six, five, four. Oh, that one's four actually. Hold on. One, I can't count. One, two, three. This one is four. This one is five. Tutorial six. Tutorial five. Okay, so four, five, uh, six. This one over here is seven. Yeah, I, I know what I'm doing. Have an opinion, get timed out. <laughs> Maybe you should storm out now. No! <laughs> we love you! But don't insult our controllers. <laughs> Basically. So, we should be able to fit another couple going that way. I'm not sure what the next tutorials are. We should, uh, we should look at that real quick. So, the next tutorial... Oh, the original fish farm. God, this is what we used to have to do back in the day for fish farms. Can we listen to Pickstep? Maybe. Subscribe fishing rod as soon as you see the video. <laughs> oh jeez. Yeah, that's the that's the kill command that I was running. Uh, but radius 30. I'm just not worried about the items, they can despawn. 
So this is what we used to have to do for AFK Fish Farms in Bedrock Edition. I'm pretty sure this was the first ever AFK Fish Farm for Bedrock Edition. Like, there were so many people trying to figure out how to do fish farms. They were so stupid. Mojang was absolutely adamant about fish farms not existing on Bedrock Edition. There were so many things. So many things that were just broken or busted or bad or buggy or intentionally broken so that fish farms would not work. It was so bad. God, I can't believe I figured that out. That took so long and so many people stole that farm. It only got 94,000 views? What is this? Ridiculous. Meh. This one has actually technically very, very broken. Ah, uh, but that's part of the redstone testing world. The sandstone one. You play on a controller? <laughs> you you play on a controller and you're saying that they're terrible? Well, I respect that. <laughs> uh, fish farm should be... Here it is. God, this took so long to figure out. Like, there's actually hours, days worth of testing that went into figuring these things out. I had to come back to this like five times. Is that full lava sources? That's full lava sources. Like over here is just like a ton of AFK fishing testing. To see what things you could click on. And then randomly I tested an armor stand and it was like, oh, it worked. It's great. <laughs> you stand by your controller disc, timeout ready. Ha ha ha. Prepare the band hammer. <laughs> Controllers are pretty solid though. I actually really miss playing with controller. Keyboard and mouse is like definitely, you know, absolutely better uh, for so many things. But the fact does remain that uh, controllers are fantastic. Especially the newer controllers nowadays. What if I miss a tutorial? Then you know what? Bah! Table flip. <laughs> Look at these cute little trees I grew. I was gonna say I built that, but I was like, nah, those are definitely vanilla. I made like a little oasis right here in the middle of a giant sandstone world just for the fish farm. I don't know why I did that. It's gonna be a boring video otherwise, I guess? I don't know. Copy. Amulet is literally the best thing on the planet. Yeah, basically that. Exactly. Table flip. Straight up. Bra. Computer. Monitors. T, all of it. Table flips right out the window. Oh, something funny that happened the other day is I was pulling, cause like I got my, my mic on a boom arm. One of those nice road boom arms. Like the fancy ones, the hundred dollar ones that you might see around. So I was pulling that forward. Cause you know, of course I push it back when it's, you know, not being used. And it's not all up in my face and stuff. So I pull it forward and it just completely comes off the table and like completely falls everywhere. I'm like, uh, hi there. <laughs> was not expecting that. It just completely fell off. I was like, what? I'm glad I'm not recording. <laughs> Are we seriously gonna have to rotate that? Oh God. So it just completely like fell all over the place. The mic went everywhere. It just completely detached from the table. I'm like, okay, that's fine, I guess. What I get for trying to do that, I guess. And we got a wardrobe change. Cool. Thank you so much. Uh, we will switch over to a different skin once we are in game. I need to, I guess, move this forward a block. Which way is that? Positive X. Boop. There we go. Super small build. Look at that repeater right there. That is so messed up. Yo, that's a cursed repeater right there. Look at that. It's got the... It's got four of the things. Or, yeah, it's got four of them. Ah! <laughs> that's not right. Okay, let's close out that. Blame the installer. <laughs> it's a thick repeater. <laughs> Missed a tutorial. Delete the video. Problem solved. Yep. Okay, and back to the world. Da -da 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 -da. Mm. 
Yeah, so that seems about right. Uh, this one should be coming out of that into there. Oh, I forgot how many ticks I was on. Shouldn't that have a piston right there? Probably should. That's fine. Why is the lever right there? It could be in any number of places that's not right there. Uh, this is gonna have to... Oh, wow, this is, this is telly, telly jacked up. Yeah. Rotations could use some work. Eight out of 10, rotations need help. <laughs> That's my official score. So, oh, right, this goes there. Oh, there's supposed to be a redstone torch. That makes sense. Okay, so redstone torch goes there. Uh, that goes there on three ticks, and then that powers that, which then pops up the armor stand. Boop. Was that one on three ticks? Okay, that makes sense. Thank you. Can you put a creeper on the lead? I think so. Not entirely sure. So you would stand right here, aim at that glass pane. Oh, which now connects to the walls. Oh, that's unfortunate. And then you would click on that to cast your rod. And then that would go down and land on the pressure plate, which would activate the hopper clock. And then you would stand here clicking on the armor stand. And then whenever you would pick up something uh, it would activate and you would retract it, basically. Something like that. I'd have to rewatch the video to specifically see what's up of it. Uh, this right there? Right? That would make sense, because that needs to connect to the rest of that. Seems like that should unpower that. I'm not sure. Or no, that makes sense. Yeah, no, that should power that, and then... Uh, I might not need a redstone torch right there. Let's go back to the redstone world. Let's see what is up. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't work anymore. They changed some things and stuff. But there is much simpler, better, cheaper, faster, easier, more reliable, efficient farms now. It's good. Tree! There it is. Uh, no redstone torch there. That was indeed on three ticks. Smart. That's on three ticks, and everything else is good. <laughs> that guy's got a fishing rod. How many items in there? 30? Fair enough. Anything good? That's a pretty solid book right there. And good books from this. Hey, subscribe! I'll take that. <laughs> subscribe, yay! Um, that should be everything. Yeah, great. Let's go triple check it. That is break amulet. Nah, it's fine. Uh, there goes your 30 torches. And I believe that should be everything then. Cool, fantastic, I like it a lot. So we will go ahead and switch out all these blocks then. This is actually going surprisingly well. Like all things considered, me, world edit, bedrock edition, it's going great. And stone. Going very, very well indeed. Uh, that looks a little bit funky, but whatever. Put a lot of glass right there, and I suppose that's it. And tutorial number eight. Tutorial eight. What video was this? December 5th. I released this two days after the other one. Version, probably still 
Uh, very broken due to updates. Two more, and then we got ten. Yeah. <laughs> Should we give him a fishing pole? I guess we should, just because. Enchant to send it to Whisper on Breaking 3. Oop, there you go. We're gonna make him sound all happy. Hey, he's happy. Oops, wrong way. There we go, now he's all happy. Cool. Well, that is a tutorial eight installed. Not too shabby, honestly. <laughs> See you later, Cosmo. Enjoy your lunch, and thank you so much for stopping by. I'm glad you enjoyed the stream. What was the next build? Oh, the Enderman Farm. Now, this is where things get complicated. This is where things get complicated indeed. So, this is a farm that has to be in another dimension. Oh, yes, I forgot about the wardrobe change. Oops. But we're actually at the end of the stream anyway, so... Um, it would be good to save that for next stream. So we'll do that in the next live stream. So this cinnamon farm was a very basic version of a farm. Uh, it worked all right. <laughs> I put a meme in the beginning. That's great. So it's all right. We do need to set up an area in the end dimension to actually lay out all the different farms because we've had so many end farms get created now the end of this world is actually quite messed up uh so many things got built in the end of this world let's go to the end yeah see so updated to bedrock edition then that stuff got generated and then different water was needed for enderman farms then i built another enderman farm that was trying to get the dragon into a minecart and stuff and trying to Use that for silly things, and then there's wither killers off over there and stuff. And then there's the Enderman farm. And then there should be other Enderman farms. Oh yeah, there's like three in this world. So that's the bedrock one. Also that over there. <laughs> Put memes in my videos, I did. Now some of this just got straight up deleted when we upgraded to... Uh better together better together because reasons what's up with them particles so this was a legacy console one and as you can see it just got like chopped like all weirdly i mean look at that it's weird so it's doing pretty good and they've just got chopped uh there is a prototype version for bedrock i moved it to over there for some reason and then here's the nice one that i had for a legacy console also got chopped as well All streams are at 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and they are usually Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Although, I would suggest that you just follow the channel, that way you get upgraded. Oh, sorry, that way you get updated on when we are streaming, and you get notified as well. Upgraded. Yeah, this one was way faster on Legacy Console. Got really good rates. Also, this right here is as far as the end dimension went out on Legacy Console. This was it. Right here was world border. You could only go out to here. So you had to build your enemy farms in the corner, down at the bottom of the world. It was fun times. So we need to figure out how we're going to do the, uh, the end. Let's go, let's go check out the end on this world real quick. I think that was like the first big farm I did for Bedrock Edition. Absolutely terrible farm, but I mean, it did technically work. Technically worked. <laughs> okay, so this end is only got half of the farms in it. That it probably should. So that's the newest Enderman farm that I just made a video on. That's the tutorial version that I built for the video. Uh, and then there should be other Enman farms over here too, right? Oh, that's it. Okay, th that's actually gonna be pretty easy. I have another world with other Enman farms in it. 
Uh, that's got the big versions. The big Boa Enman Farms. Where is that at? Enderman Farm? Yeah. Yeah, we could set up a teleport. That's probably what we're going to do. <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> Here we go. This is it. Yes. There it is. There she is. There he is. There it is. There it is. This was before we had the spawning spheres texture pack. This is what we had to do. So this is like the original mini ender. This thing is still pretty solid, but there is of course the newer, better version on the channel now. That works a bit better. No redstone or anything. Uh, that was the tutorial version to mark out like the spawning spheres. And then here's the big boy animal farm. I still really like this thing. I need to make a new version for new updates. <laughs> You're having flashbacks from when you built the farm. That's fine. I still really like this thing. It just looks really cool. I built this on Truly Bedrock Season 1. So, yeah, we need to get uh, this one and that one over there into the world. Uh, we don't need to worry about that or that or that. Although it would be kind of cool to have the dome. I think the dome's kind of cool. <laughs> Oop, there it is. Yep, yeah, pretty much. Now, we can actually copy-paste like that thing next to here, and then we can copy-paste that thing next to here as well, and then copy-paste all of it at one time over to the main world. So that's probably what we'll do. Uh, let's actually try that out right now. We're going to go ahead and make a copy of this. Although I'm pretty sure there's a download of it. Copy Le World. And then let's open up the Inman Farm inside of Amulet. Just to try and mess around a little bit. So let's open up Enderman Farm. I'm gonna switch over to the end dimension. Now this actually works on all dimensions, of course. And so yeah, here's that giant crater, the unexplicable crater. And then, oh yeah, there's also a 2D version of this amulet edit editor as well. As you can see, pretty cool stuff. That actually looks kind of cool. I like that. So we need this little farm right here. I can probably just uh, select this in chunk mode, can't I? Chunk. Boop. Select. <laughs> and then now we're in 3D mode. So, that just selected the entirety of the farm. We're going to copy that. And then bring it over to this side of the world. Uh, we're going to go a little bit further away. So, let's hit the uh, paste button. Like right there. And then I think we need to rotate it. And paste. That should have done something, right? Should have done something. <laughs> Did it not? Oh. Something's happening. I might have I might have broken some things. It might I might have broken some things. Oh, maybe I selected too large of an area. Or something happened. I don't know. I still want to try and copy-paste this. Copy. And select the paste function. There we go. Now it's actually highlighting it. Okay. Now it should work. I wasn't highlighting the actual build before. Let's paste this right here. Oh, right. I'm not hitting the confirm button. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm not doing correctly. See you guys later. Thank you for watching the stream tonight. I hope that you have a good night. Uh, Tectonic. And also... 
Uh, smart one. I know I saw two people in chat. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by the stream. Hopefully you have enjoyed. I am just gonna select this stuff real quick. I want, I need to try this again. Select, copy, and then hit the paste button and then press the left clickies. And then you gotta hit confirm. I've been clicking the paste button again. That doesn't work. Click, confirm. There you go. Easy. Oh, that might take a while. Five and a half minutes? What is this? <laughs> I ain't got time to sit around for that. Oh, it's copying air. That's why. Uh, can I close that? Oh, I can't. No. Well, that's going to take five minutes then. Ripperonis. <laughs> the derp is strong. It's fine. It's a big build. Processing. Processing. Oh, now it's only going to take three minutes. Maybe we should sit around for this. I don't know. You guys got any good campfire stories for uh, while this is processing? <laughs> It's not a good time to end the stream. It's a fantastic time to end the stream. So, I hope that you have greatly enjoyed, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, we can do a couple more of these in the future. And hopefully, you learned something from this as well. Uh, the amulet download link is here in the chat. And we're going to end by raiding someone, as we always do. So, thank you so very much for stopping by. Thank you for the follows, everyone. Thank you for the hype train. And all of that good, lovely nonsense. Uh, there's not that many people streaming right now. Is anyone streaming as part of Truly Bedrock? Uh, no. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and raid Criminalus. They've got 50 viewers right now, so go hey, go say hi to them. Put some raid pigos or some hashtag silence into their chat. And of course, drop a follow on their channel if you enjoy their content. And you guys know the deal. I'll see you over there in their stream. I'll see you in the next live stream, which might be tomorrow or possibly Thursday. I don't know. I'll let you know. Have a good one. And then there was silence.